Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 674, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, it's Friday. You know what Friday means? It's an F it Friday. And today we are going to concentrate on the F it that says, I'm sick and tired of that. I'm going to make some changes in my life. Um, but before we do that, we got a little bit of work to do. Today is August the 21st, 2020. It's a work day. I got a lot of work to do. So uh, let's get after it. First things first, I'm still a realist. You know what else I'm doing? I'm leading. Yeah, I'm leading in the football team. I'm leading in my family. I'm leading uh, at work on a few projects, right? Like just when you get things done, people hand you more and be like, here, lead that project. That's what I'm doing, right? Sometimes it gets annoying. Like what, can, can anybody make a decision on their own? Can anybody think through things? But that's the price you pay to have some leadership skills. Should be thankful for it instead of complaining. All right, on to our real talk. Over time, the real blank is revealed. I'll repeat that. Over time, the real blank is revealed. What I'm talking about is that I was talking to one of the coaches last night. We've got a couple kids on the team that, man, they started out the year on fire. First ones to practice, working hard, you know, and as time has gone and it's gotten more difficult, hurt all the time, can't miss, my stomach hurts, my leg hurts. And that's so why I told them, like, look, over time, right, whenever we enter into a new situation, oftentimes we send our representative, right? Like, go, go, let's show up with the best version of me and hope that we fool them. And then over time, we'll slowly let our real self out, right? You've seen it happen a million times. It happens in a relationship, it happens in a job, sports teams, friendships, whatever. And over time, all of us, as we grow, as we get older, as we mature, as we get more money and more resources, what happens is we just become a more extreme version of ourselves, right? It's not like we change course. Like, oh, you know, people say, oh, when I get older, this is going to change and that's going to change. But actually, it's the opposite, right? Like, we, generally speaking, now the, the caveat to that is if there's some life altering uh, experience, but just a regular person living their life and you say, hey, what were you like at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50? Again, there's usually a progression there of the same person. And over time, the real person, the real plan, you know, have to, you know, there's all kinds of conspiracy theories right now, right? Of which it's just overwhelming to me about COVID and all that. But, you know, people are like, oh, man, just wait. Once the election's over, you'll find out what this is all about. And there's going to be a plan and this, that, and that. Could be. I don't know. Right. But generally speaking, over time, the real blank is revealed. Right. We don't have to wonder anymore. Like, what's that person's agenda? They'll show you. We just got to wait for it. All right. Let's get to our thank yous. Then we're going to wind up for the day. Number one, God has been good to us in the good times, and the bad. There's no disputing that. I'm starting to see where God's hand has been involved in some things at work. Yeah, seriously. Right. And again, you got to go through the sour before you can appreciate the sweet. I'm thankful for the NBA and LeBron James. They showed back up last night. Unfortunately, Damian Lillard got, got hurt, but they were already down by 30 points. Um, I was concerned about the Lakers, but, you know, they showed up last night. So it's exciting, right? Luka, we got some stuff going on in the East. There's a lot going on there in the NBA. I'm thankful for Hard Knocks, right? This is the show that's on HBO where they follow a couple of NFL teams through preseason. And because this is the first year of the new facility in Los Angeles where there's two teams, they're following both of them, right? And I love watching Hard Knocks, uh, but generally, um, yeah, I, what should we call it? DirecTV would have called by now and offered me free HBO, and they just did last week. I'm like, yes, I will take that for three months. So without free HBO, I'm not watching Hard Knocks. And I got to watch some Hard Knocks last night. It's awesome, right? Like if you love football, you should watch Hard Knocks to get you all fired up. I'm thankful we've got scrimmage tonight, right? That's always a true test of how good your team is to play other teams that you're not familiar with, right? So we'll, we practiced last week. We had scrimmage last Friday. We've got another one this Friday. I'm thankful for Aunt Jen, my sister, and her family that live down in Broken Arrow, not far from where we're going to be. So we'll get to see her tonight. That's awesome. I'm thankful for this incredible weather we've had in Oklahoma. We're like 10 degrees below the average, and it is glorious, right? getting up to like 85 during the day. So it's hot, but it's not oppressively hot. And the last thing is that I'm thankful for today. I'm thankful for whatever tomorrow brings. You got to be thankful for it all. This is a universal truth. 
2 plus 2 equals 5, always. And you got to be thankful for what you got, not what you don't got. All right? With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. I appreciate you stopping by on an FN Friday. Whatever that is in your life that you don't like, you got to address it. Right? Because we are doomed to live the life that we will tolerate. So if there's something in your life you don't want, you don't want to tolerate anymore, you don't want to put up with it, you're going to have to do something about it. Yeah. And I'm certain that in those situations, over time, the real something showed up. You're like, yeah, no, I don't want that. I hear you. I feel you. Been there too. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is a savage Saturday. Love it. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. Love you guys. See ya. Bye.